What's up guys, here finally for the long awaited jump rope review. Sorry for all you guys who have been asking about it for the last couple of weeks, but finally found time to do it. Uh, the three ropes I was going to go over was the Buddy Lee Master Jump Rope, the Again Faster Revolution, and then the what is it, Rev Rope X from Again Faster as well. Yeah, the Rev Rope X. Um, been using a lot of them over the last month or so and figured this would be a good time to tell you guys what I thought. I've had the Buddy Lee rope here for probably two years. This was the first rope I bought with CrossFit and I really liked it because it had these sort of swivel bearings that made it a lot easier and when you would spin it, it wouldn't get caught up in itself. So really like those a lot. Um, but then when I would use it outside in the cold or um, basically anything other than ideal circumstances, the rope itself would kind of get messed up a little bit. When I competed in the turkey challenge this year or the tough pumpkin, uh, it was cold outside and we went for a run and then had to do double unders. Um, the rope was literally frozen when we came back every single time. So didn't like that. Also the handle is really long, which is great to get a grip on it. But bottom line is it's a little too much. It felt like you were having to exert yourself a little bit much to, to use the rope. So um, I had seen some friends get the revolution rope from again faster. Uh, plastic coating on the cable, but it's a cable rope part. Uh, handle is much smaller and it also has the awesome swivel bearing here. And you can actually tighten it here with just a regular screwdriver and you can uh, obviously adjust the, the length of the rope to fit yourself. These come with an extra rope as well, so if and when you need to replace it, just by paying the $25 you get your replacement rope with it, so that saves money as well. Um, the Buddy Lee one has sort of an Allen wrench type of a piece there, but the screwdriver there makes it a lot easier to build these ropes and get them to your perfect length. So this is the rope I use most of the time. I really like it a lot. Uh, $25, not a big deal. Um, but then they also talked about it again faster, the new Rev Rope X and how this is going to be the new, the best new jump rope out there on the market and it would be great for um, the impending triple unders that CrossFit will be throwing at us. The catch with this rope is it is all metal with no plastic coating at all over the cabling. So this is definitely an indoor only use rope. And you're actually warned in the video that Gilson put together talking about um, the difference between the Revolution and the Rev Rope X. He said, Basically, if you hit yourself, it's going to hurt a lot because it's just straight metal cabling hitting you. And he's right. I uh, bruised myself a lot more using this guy than I did on the regular Rev Revolution rope. So um, I would say I'm not good enough yet to be using this rope. can maybe do a single triple under here and there. But uh, until I get better, I'm definitely going to be sticking with the, again, faster Revolution X rope. Again, the Rev Rope X has the same type of swivel handle. It's basically the same rope, but I'm assuming the cabling's a little thicker, maybe a little bit heavier. This guy, just the standard, again, Faster Revolution, is my favorite jump rope right now. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the, the About section or the rest of this post, but for you guys to know, I'd recommend the, again, Faster Revolution jump rope for double unders, um, single unders, and especially learning how to improve your double unders as well. Any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for your questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.